came out 43, I had a question coming out of chapter 6, number 68. And here we were given some information about recovery time for a surgical procedure. And we had seen this set up earlier in the chapter. But so if my variable here, it looks like it's recovery time. And the units on this, actually, if I look, they're days. I see that I wrote minutes here. I'm going to fix that. That should definitely say days. It looks like I got it down here. But the recovery time is in days. I'll change that up and adjust it. And it does tell us that we have a normal distribution. 5.3 should be under the peak and 2.1 should be um, our standard deviation. And actually, now that I'm looking at my graph, dude, I was off. I'm going to totally fix this. It should definitely say 5.3. All right, at least got the two right. So, so as we start to look at this, the question said, what is the probability of spending more than two days in recovery? So if I want more than two days in recovery, right? And again, the average is 5.3. So there's going to be a pretty good chance that I'll spend more than two days. Um, more than turns into a greater than symbol. And two is the number two. And we're talking about recovery time. So that's what should go inside the parentheses of my probability statement. And if you hear me talk about probability statement, I always want to see them in your written work. And it means that you have capital P with something in parentheses. And that something in parentheses, it has to reference the variable somehow, and usually the variable's x. There'll be some kind of symbol greater than, greater than or equal to, less than, less than or equal to. And then either one or two numbers, just depending on how the problem's set up. We only have the one number in this case. And for this problem, because I have the normal distribution, I'm going to use normal CDF on my calculator. And it always follows the format of low, high, mean, and then standard deviation. And these first two always come from your x-axis. So let's go take a look at what we have. I have my low of 2, but then I go all the way up here forever. And what we say in, in stats, or at least how we program that into our calculator, is we're going to say infinity. It's kind of hard to see that yellow there. Maybe I can make it a, let me make it a little bit nicer of a yellow. So we're going to say infinity, that one we can see. Now, instead of putting infinity, like so, into my calculator, we have to put 1E99. And that's fine. We can do that. And then the mean and standard deviation, they're given to you. So you can see that these next two symbols, right, the mean and standard deviation, these are going to be given. All right, so let me put that these two come from your x-axis. These two are given. And then I plug that into my calculator. I, I guess I could have put the parentheses on this. Man, I was on fire on this one. And then I get that it's about 94%. And when I look at the area that I've shaded, right, look at that area. That is a good chunk of area. Just looking at it, I would have said it was like 90, 95%. And I always think it's good to draw a graph and make sure that your graph matches your number because there will inevitably be a time, or at least let me say it for me, like I've made mistakes before. I've gone in the wrong direction where like maybe I did, I put a less than here on accident or something to that effect and my number didn't match my graph. And it was just a nice catch for me. Like, hey, something's up. I better evaluate what I've got. All right, so there's number 68. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye.